Thank you for joining us for our Gospel Reflection from the Book of Common Prayer Lectionary. My name is Mother Elizabeth Papazoglakis, and I serve as Associate Rector at St. George's Episcopal Church in Clifton Park, New York. Alleluia! Christ is risen! The Lord is risen indeed! Alleluia! Today is Monday in Easter week. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we who celebrate with all the Paschal Feast may be found worthy to attain to everlasting joys. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Our lesson comes from the Gospel of John, the 14th chapter beginning at the first verse. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. If it were not so, would I have told you that I go to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and will take you to myself, so that where I am, there you may be also." And you know the way to the place where I am going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you know me, you will know my Father also. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. Philip said to him, Lord, show us the Father, and we will be satisfied. Jesus said to him, Have I been with you all this time, Philip, and you still do not know me? Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, Show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me? The words that I say to you I do not speak on my own, but the Father who dwells in me does his works. Believe me that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me. But if you do not, then believe me because of the works themselves. Very truly I tell you, the one who believes in me will also do the works that I do, and in fact will do greater works than these, because I am going to the Father. I will do whatever you ask in my name, so that the Father may be glorified in the Son." If in my name you ask me for anything, I will do it. Here ends the lesson. I hope that you've all enjoyed a blessed Easter as we continue to celebrate and rejoice in the resurrection and good news of Jesus. That being said, it may seem a little strange that on the first day after Easter, our lectionary reverts back to some of the events leading up to the Passion of our Lord. Today's lesson is one of the choices in the Book of Common Prayer offered for readings at funerals. And there's a good reason for the, that purpose. Jesus had told his disciples that he was going and that they could not follow him. Then he tells them not to let their hearts be troubled. Now that time has come. Jesus died, was buried, and his disciples are now trying to live into the miraculous reality of the resurrection and what it really means. The disciples, just as we do when we have lost a loved one, were very sad about what Jesus was telling them. Jesus went on to say that he was going to prepare a place for them. He will come for them so that where he is, there they may be also. Jesus tells them that they know the way to the place where he is going. And Thomas, the disciple who was not present, when the post-resurrection encounter with Jesus, when the disciples were behind locked doors, blurts out, Lord, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Then Jesus answers with one of the six I am statements found in the Gospel of John. Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. As the Father is truth and life, Jesus is the embodiment of God, so people can come to the Father. 
There are many people today who unfortunately believe that Jesus is a way to the Father. But Jesus states here very clearly that he is the only way to the Father. It is clear that the disciples still do not understand. Now, we can't really criticize them. What little we may understand is only because we have 2,000 years of witnesses and the Bible to tell us what happened. Philip asks Jesus to show them the Father. Jesus said, Have I been with you all this time, Philip, and you still do not know me? Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, show us the Father? Jesus assures Philip that he is in the Father and the Father is in him. Philip stated what people from the beginning of creation and humankind have wanted. As human beings, whether we recognize it or not, we seek to see and know God. The proof of Jesus' union with God the Father is threefold. They should believe what Jesus says because of his character. Number two, they should believe because of Jesus' words, as they're the Father's words. And finally, they should believe because of the miraculous miracles that Jesus performed, revealing the Father working through him. Jesus says that those who believe in him will do greater things than he did because he is going to the Father. Jesus said that if you ask anything in his name, he will do it. Now listen carefully. This is not magic, where you ask Jesus for anything like a car or a house or money or whatever, and then you get it. Those who believe in Jesus may call on him. However, he also says, I will do whatever you ask in my name so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. For the Father to be glorified, what we ask must be in accordance with the Father's will. Let us pray. Almighty God, who through your only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, overcame death and opened to us the gate of everlasting life, grant that we who celebrate with joy the day of the Lord's resurrection may be raised from the death of sin by your life-giving Spirit, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Thank you for joining us. I hope that you'll join us every weekday for our Gospel Reflection. If you live in the Clifton Park area, join us for worship at 4.30 on Saturdays or 9 a.m. on Sunday mornings. If you're unable to join us in person, join us virtually through our YouTube channel. Check out our webpage for all in-person and virtual offerings.